Where's my little note? Right here. Thank you. So come on behind here with me, Jane. How long have you been working here? Six and a half years. And when was our store anniversary? It was on the 1st of February. <laughs> It was six years on the 1st of February here in this location on the Queensway. And um, and how did you find out about the singing lady? Oh, I was a shopper. I know, I know. You would come I in with your shopper. little magnifying <laughs> class. I would point out things that needed to be reconsidered as far as the descriptions. And, yes. And, and Tammy, that. this is sterling. This is not... <laughs> You don't Whatever. have sterling on the tag. Yeah, I know. Well, we were very young then, right? Yes, yes. yes and we've come yeah. a long way, we right? Have. We, we have. We have. We have. All right. So, Jane, you've been working for me for a long, long time. And for you and sure. I love to agree and disagree yeah. on lots of things, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. So, you feel very at home here in flatware land? Well, I do a lot of cleaning of silver. Yes, you do. Whether it's flatware or hollowware, I'm the the designated silver polisher. Yes. So. And we do get a lot of flatware here at The Singing Lady, and we try to find out as much as we can about it when it comes in. So we try to date it. Uh, we, try, we definitely try to find the pattern, and we want to identify whether it's stainless, whether it's brass, whether it's silver plate, or whether it's sterling. Correct. Right. And the most often question that we're asked about flatware is, can how do, we put it in the dishwasher? Yes, how do we keep our flatware clean? And how do we keep it looking beautiful? Right, That's so right. Jane, can I put silver plate in the dishwasher? Well, you can. I don't recommend it. And you s certainly shouldn't have stainless steel flatware next to it because it doesn't like that chemical reaction. Right, so what would happen to the, the, the flatware if you put it in the dishwasher with stainless? Would it pit? Would it tarnish? Would it the, the finish... It'll, it'll affect the finish, it, and it may pit because, you know, the, the detergents, the little hard particles in di dishwasher detergents, um, are, are not very kind to the soft metal of flatware. Right. But even if, it's, even if it's just silver plate. Okay. Another question we're often asked is, <clears throat> do I have to clean sterling, or will it always look like that? Oh, you always have to clean sterling. Mm -hmm. um, this is a salad server with a teak bowl and a sterling handle and I have just given it a little buff with a rouge cloth and see it makes such a difference here I'll use this this knife here looks like it needs a little love it's not sterling but it's going to have the same effect as if you were cleaning sterling or silver plate doesn't matter it's this is a labor of love, and this is actually a good thing to do when you're sitting watching television. Yeah, it's good you don't like to your... clean silver, right? Not, 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 not many people there do. There you so. go. <laughs> See the difference? And this is just a, just a polishing cloth. Um, if your silver is really tarnished or if you have um, used it with um, acidic foods, your fork tines will darken, and so you should wash them up, and then get your cloth out and polish it up. Right, right. And we would, in the old days, you were just telling me a few minutes ago, which I just learned something new, is, is that like a cake server that we looked at over there had a silver plate blade on it. But a they don't, they don't blade, do yeah. that anymore no. because... It, it pits. It pits, that's right. And this is the reason why your flatware, your, your, your serving pieces, I mean your knives... Your blades are all silver. Uh, there's, uh, there's no server in there. Well, we could use a butter knife, for example. Yes, it so, would have a stainless blade on it. Yes, it would have a stainless blade on it versus being... A silver plate right. blade. Yes, because things like butter, things like salt are very bad. Eggs, vinegar. Right, for yeah. your silver plate. That's yeah. why you don't want them touching those sorts of things. That's correct. Okay, and then here we have something that's different from either being silver plate <laughs> or sterling silver. Um, and that would be this uh, nickel bronze set. So this is something you would never, ever put in the dishwasher. Never. Never. Come back over here, sweetie. Always, so, always hand wash and, and make it quick in the water if it's got um, a rosewood frame on the, on the utensil. Because this, even though you can get it wet, it doesn't like to be soaked. Yeah, and it's riveted, so it's going to stay in place. Um, and John claude made this. This is a beautiful set. And there's lots of it to have in this beautiful canteen. I'll just pull this up so you can see how much there is really of it. 
Um, but yeah. they do recommend just washing this in, in soap and water. So mm -hmm. detergent, just... Mm -hmm. And right. drying it. And drying it right and away. And air drying it um, before you put it back in. It's always best to wash your flatware and leave it air dry uh, till the next morning before you put it away. Right, and another way to keep it clean if you don't have a chest would maybe to be wrap it in saran. Would that work for flatware? Uh, yes, I, I would wrap it in a, a tea towel, not saran. And roll it and put it in the drawer? Yes. Yeah. And but, then what? But a chest is really better. And never, ever do what to your flatware? Never put Elast elastics. Oh, don't use elastics <laughs> to put things together. No, no, no because no. it will tarnish and you will never get that tarnish spot off. And uh, we have tried, trust me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and it but was a shame, how really. People um, will bundle things up. Come saw. Use these beautiful tablespoons and they just bundle it up and put an elastic around it like that. Isn't that handy? Yeah. Very bad. Very bad. Super bad. Very bad. Yeah, not a good thing. Okay. <clears throat> Flower so. comes in all different shapes and sizes and it has lots of purposes and there's lots of ways to reuse things. So let's talk about that for just a minute or two, shall we? Okay. Okay. So I brought here, I brought a, I brought a glass container here of what they would be used. These would be normally traditionally used for pastry. So you want to hold that up? Mm-hmm. Right. So that's a pastry fork. And the reason that is a pastry fork is it's got the one larger tine on the end. Correct. Right. That's to scoop your dessert, your cake off your your plate. So she's shining that up. Look at that, eh? See? These little claws just really do amazing things. So Jane? Yeah? What about what I like to refer to as demi tasse spoons? Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, well it might be that, that I'm a different vintage than you are. These little spoons here in this little case, how lovely they are. You would call them demi-tasse spoons. I would. And yes, you could most certainly use them as demi-tasse spoons. But they are really coffee spoons. And, you know, it's a matter of coffee. Well, you only serve coffee in demi-tasses. So I call them coffee spoons. You call them demi-tasse spoons. You and I understand that we're talking about the same thing. Well, we're talking about coffee, right? We are. We are. So here's a wee after dinner coffee cup and saucer. Which I would call a demi-tasse. Yes, okay. <laughs> and here's the wee spoon that you would use to stir your strong after dinner coffee because you'd put a little sugar in it. And see, they just fit perfectly on the saucer because some of the demi-tasses that we have... Look down, Jane, do there's get... one at the bottom. Look down, second, yeah, same, right there. Same size, though. You think? Yeah. Well, they seem a bit smaller, like shorter. Just pull one. Let's have a look. <clears throat> yeah, the cups are a little shorter, but the saucers are still big. So I feel, I feel that these would be... So you call them coffee I... spoons or five o'clock spoons? No, no, these are five o'clock teaspoons. I'm going to give this one a little polish too because, you know, silver tarnishes in the air. So it's always good to have your silver, your flatware, either in a, as we said, a rolled up tea towel or in a box. And these little fancy spoons come in their own little box because that's how they package things. So a five o'clock teaspoon. She's fast, this Jane. Here we go. A teacup. Now, I know in North America we serve coffee in these, but they're teacups. We call them teacups. Mm -hmm. And these five o'clock teaspoons are to stir your tea. If you put stuff in your tea, like milk and sugar. And you see they're a little bit bigger. They're a little bit bigger than your coffee spoon. And they fit just perfectly. However, they're not as big as... Oh, oh here. Are there, is there anything in here? Let's go. Let's see if there's a... Ah, very nice. So this is a teaspoon. This is a five o'clock teaspoon. And this is a... We'll go for that one, maybe. A coffee spoon. Okay, yeah, we can lay them out just to show you the difference. 
So you could serve dessert with your teaspoon because it's larger than the five o'clocks. But they also, it, depending on how full your flatware set is, they also make things called dessert spoons. And a dessert spoon is... <coughs> Excuse me. Is bigger than a teaspoon. Well, there's the no. rosewood one. No? No. Okay. Bigger than um, a teaspoon. Bigger than a teaspoon, smaller than a, than a serving spoon don't have one here. So no, because they don't come in a in a place setting, you have to buy your dessert spoons individually. Mm -hmm. You have to buy your cream soup spoons individually. So normally what you would get is you'd get your five major pieces. Your five major yeah. pieces. And then if you wanted a five o'clock teaspoon, you'd have to buy your five o'clock separately. And you'd have to buy your coffee spoons or your demi -tons. All the spoons. extra things are like things that you can add to your flatware service. Yes, right. Correct. Correct. Now you can make do this teaspoon. It fits on that cup and saucer. Mm -hmm. It's just, it just sticks out a little much and you know. It's um, a little bit bigger than it should be, but exactly. it still works. It still works. You can Sorry. use them. Would you like to see that? Here we go. <clears throat> so five o'clock spoons, demi tasse spoons, teaspoons, tea spoons, then we have soup spoons, then we have dessert spoons, then bouillon. Then Bouillon spoons. Um, Have a round bowl. And so do cream soups. This is a this, cream soup. This is a cream soup. Bouillon spoons are smaller than this. They have a smaller bowl. And they're, because bouillon was served in little cups with double handles. Right, and we have that. I'll get one, and, I'll be right um, back. So oh, this no, is that's, a, that's a cream soup. Well, it'll work, right? Bouillons are much smaller. They're they're like a teacup. Right, but this is only right. they've got two handles. Right, but yeah, this is a cream soup, and it's a large one. <clears throat> you got one there. There we go. So there's your. People often ask what the two handles are for. Why? Soup. Why does it have two handles? So you can. Yes, <laughs> that's right, that's right. But for those of us who don't want to do that, well, a spoon on the side is nice, right? Yes. Okay, yes. so that was good, Jane. Good. Good job. Oh, there you go, someone that appreciates what I know about flatware and um, care of uh, flatware. And There is a perception out there that Silverware, whether it be sterling or silver plate, or for that matter, bronzeware, is too high maintenance. That let's not use that because it's, it takes too much time right. to care for it. And really, um, that's, that's not really accurate. I mean, not everything can go in the dishwasher. And, and really, if you enjoy entertaining and you enjoy beautiful things, it's a pleasure to clean up your beautiful things and, and put them away till your next dinner party or your next Sunday dinner with your family. And enjoy them. Mm -hmm, exactly. Maybe we could say something like, um, you know, uh, just when you think, you know, people are always looking to add to their, their place settings. They're always looking to grow them larger um, or start from scratch as a, you know, a new... Or, or mix and match. What about talking about mixing and matching? Non-utilitarian. No, I don't want to say that either. Um, we're about just this talking. Right now. We, we, we don't want to be on the movie yet. Well, he might be rolling anyway, because he might catch something good. I